watching the latest developments from our newsroom. Julian. Gainer, the FDA holding a virtual meeting to decide on the contentious issue. Around the world, there's widespread disagreement in the medical community about whether or not a booster is necessary, particularly for older individuals and people with underlying health conditions. Israel decided to begin a third vaccination campaign on July 30th, starting with the elderly. Top researchers with the Israel Ministry of Health describing their booster program begun this summer. Israel currently going through their fourth wave of coronavirus with high rates of infection due to the variant strain. Top Israeli epidemiologists fearing that without the Pfizer booster shots, Israel's hospitals and ICU units would be overwhelmed. We started to see a decrease in cases, over a hundredfold decrease in cases following the vaccination campaign. This is wonderful and very provocative given that you were ahead of us and so it's foreseeing the future. So thank you for sharing your data. The FDA's experts with the opportunity to question the Israeli team about their experience and what they've learned with their Pfizer COVID-19 booster program. If the FDA panel approves the booster plan, the hard part comes next week for the Centers for Disease Control. The thorny issue of who gets the booster shot first has to be determined. Scientists from around the world have condemned the plan to approve boosters in the United States, arguing that it's not necessary and there are places like Guatemala and Vietnam, for example, with single-digit COVID vaccination rates due to the lack of supply around the world. Pfizer-BioNTech executives pointing to trial studies that show immunity from COVID-19 waning after six to eight months after the second shot. Separate FDA and CDC approvals will be necessary in the near future to decide about a possible booster shot for those who have received the Moderna or the Johnson & Johnson vaccines. In the newsroom, Julian Cruz, WGN News. Thank you, Julian. More on the virus now. Steve